Okay guys, uh, this weekend I'm going to make some cabbage rolls, so I saved you the boring part of uh, boiling the cabbage and peeling off all the leaves, but there they are. So uh, what I got is I got a pound of venison burger, and I got a pound of just beef burger, and I'm going to chop up some onions and celery and brown those and uh, get some rice and stuff in there and we'll get this all kicking here shortly. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a dirty, tasty, redneck cabbage roll weekend. So there you should be able to see the difference between the beef burger and the venison burger. Venison's a lot darker red than the beef. This is going to be some tasty cabbage rolls. I don't have a cutting board as you know so I saved the uh, no cutting with a cutting board uh, comments. So I just chopped up some onions and some celeries and threw them in with the beef as it's browning. You don't need to cook it through all the way because it's going to cook in the oven for um, you know three, four, five hours depending on how many you uh, make or whatever. So uh, yeah I just got to uh, fire up some rice, add it in there, and uh, we'll see how she goes. Okay, so that's browned up enough. Just need her, you don't need it fully cooked, just browned. So you get the water boiling here. So uh, it says like one cup of rice to one cup of water, but uh, you don't want to fully cook the, uh, the rice because you're going to be trying to soak up a lot of tomato juice and different things like that. Uh, with the rice so I put one and a half cups of water and I'm going to put two cups of rice into it. Okay so there's it with uh, all the rice mixed in or whatever so uh, what you're going to want to do now is dump a whole can of uh, tomato sauce in there. I like the thick and chunky just because uh, um, you know there's, it's not so runny and stuff and you're, you're going to have to soak up a lot of liquid with the rice anyway, so might as well get the thick sauce. Okay, so after you got your uh, can of tomato sauce all mixed in there and stuff, you just want to put it on simmer and uh, add your can of tomato paste. And, uh, you know, you're going to want to let it simmer just until it thickens up enough so you can uh, start rolling the cabbage. Again, I saved you guys the agony of watching me chop things up on my counter without a cutting board, but uh, some people like to do it before, some people like to do it after. I find you get a lot more garlic taste when you uh, put it, put the garlic in uh, just sort of after you've mixed everything. And I just uh, got finished salt and pepper and the shit out of it, so uh, she's all seasoned up and in goes three cloves of garlic. And uh, it's a little bit dry, so I'm probably going to add about a half a cup of water just to uh, moisten it up a bit so it can simmer a little longer, and then we'll uh, get wrapping. Okay, dudes, so that's where it is. All uh, simmered up for, you know, half an hour or so, just thicken up. So uh, what we do is we line the bottom of the pan with the outside leaves, just sort of wash them up just so... Um, they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Just, you know, give her a little lining and stuff. Now, what I like to do is, uh, you know, s some of them uh, cut the, uh, the stump out of them there. And uh, I'll show you how I like to roll these guys. So, just preheat your oven to 350. Fire these bad boys in. Cut them all rolled up. You just want to uh, just sink them in a little bit of tomato uh, uh, tomato juice. Some dirty old tomato juice. Just uh, you know, dump a bunch of it on there, or whatever. You don't want too much. That's actually probably too much, but. It'll all sort of boil off and thicken up in there and everything. So, 350, say, for a pan this size, three, four hours. You know, but, you know, if you do it a little long, that's why we put the uh, 
the leaves at the bottom so if it does burn or stick to the bottom it's just the the leaves the uh, outer leaves you don't eat anyway that will burn or whatever so uh, you know you want at least three hours for a pan this size or the inside won't cook but uh, we'll uh, fire these bad boys in and I'll fire this video up tonight and I'll show you how the boys like them when we get to the farm tomorrow.